I actually have genetic COPD. Uh, I never smoked, and yet I've had <clears throat> lung disease really all of my life. I was uh, diagnosed with asthma when I was t when just a baby, and uh, I had that all through childhood and young adulthood. And by the time I was in my 20s, my pulmonary specialist told me, as a sort of passing remark, that I had COPD. Uh, I was no more than 27, 28 at the time, and he thought that was a mild curiosity, but that was it. We didn't explore that at all, nor, nor did he seem to feel any need to, or seem particularly curious about it. In any case, uh, I <clears throat> gave it no thought until many years later, when in my 50s I was doing very well. My uh, asthma was actually under good control. But I decided I would see if I could give myself a little edge. I would get allergy shots. Why not? They'd been prescribed for me when I was a child. They hadn't made any difference. But I thought, you know, any little edge I can get would be great. So I, I went on my own to see an allergist and had him give me all the, the allergy shots. And he uh, <coughs> came back with a, a long series of very minor allergies. He didn't think that they explained any breathing problems that I had. And he told me he was willing to give me shots in hopes that they might do some good, but he could give me no assurance that they would be helpful. He didn't see a severe enough problem here. But he told me something curious about my chest x-ray. He showed it to me. Uh, I had a lot of COPD, a lot of emphysema, clear, clear lung damage, even though I'd never smoked. He told me it was very unusual to have that much lung damage, uh, a good deal of it in the lower portion of my lungs when I had no smoking history at all. He was the first person who ever said that to me. He wasn't even a lung specialist, and I'd seen many lung specialists over the years. So he told me he was going to test me for something. Very unusual genetic condition. And <clears throat> sounded very dramatic to me. And I told him that was fine. And went home and told my wife about uh, this very unusual, rare genetic condition that I might have. And came back two weeks later and I had it. And that w it was the explanation for my COPD. I had something called alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, commonly called genetic COPD. And that's a diagnosis that terrifies a lot of people. For me, it just explained something. It explained to me how that was so. Now, this uh, correct diagnosis was more than 25 years after my early pulmonary specialist told me that I had COPD when I was still in my 20s. I was 55 by the time I got diagnosed. Um, very interesting and very helpful. And that was eight years ago. Now there are, I was already taking good medications for my COPD, but in fact, uh, there are specific treatments for alpha-1 that, that I, of course I didn't know about because like most people I'd never heard of alpha-1 in my life and I've been taking them for eight years and my lung function has been stable and uh, I'm doing very well. In fact, I'm doing better now than I was then, uh, perhaps because I'm taking better care of myself and also getting excellent medical treatment. In any case, I feel like I'm, I'm among the, the lucky people with COPD. Uh, I'm actually thriving. And uh, I think if you take good care of yourself and exercise regularly, it's quite clear to me that that can happen. I don't think that COPD has to be a downward slide uh, that many of us can do very well if we take good care of ourselves and get real good medical treatments that's, that specifically deals with the condition that we have. Of course, we have to get properly diagnosed first. And in my case proves that that can be sometimes very difficult. I found out sometime after that, my own diagnosis, that I was among fewer than 10% of the alphas who get properly diagnosed. An astonishing figure, but in fact, true.